I would not believe it. Tonight it's going to be the fourth part of the four part series of the abridged Samuel Smith's range. I'll obviously do a few more Samuel Smith's when I finally get the money to pay, I pay for more. Um, the first part is the Samuel Smith's Pure Organic Lager, which was pretty decent. Uh, the second one was the strawberry version of the Pure Organic Lager, which was a bit sweet and just tasted like fruit juice. The third one was a much improved version, was the raspberry one, and I actually really like that. And the final part is obviously going to be this. Samuel Smith's Taddy Porter. Now obviously if you want to watch the previous three videos, I'm going to link them in the description bar below, by all means check them out, that would be great. Um, but tonight I'm going to be doing this one, the Taddy Porter. Now a lot of people don't know what Taddy Porter is, they probably, if you were to ask them in the street, they would probably say that it's some kind of jumper, or it's a character in Emmerdale, or it's some kind of Geordie euphemism for a condom. Oh yeah, let me get me Taddy Porter out, I'm gonna pop and bang this last year, why I? Something like that. But it's actually, um, it's kind of beer that's got, set. in fact I'm just gonna just Google it real quick actually, let me just check what actually a Taddy Porter consists of and what makes it so different to other beers. Um, yeah, it's a style of beer that originated in the 19th century and it's interesting because it is well hopped, more hopped than the average beer and it's a lot darker in colour. Boom shakalaka, this is going to be good hopefully. So let's crack it open shall we and see what happens. All this fucking gold foil shit would need that quite difficult, you know. Let's see if the uh, if I peel this off, it's got a white rose on top like the other three bottles did. No, fuck off. It's just gold. <laughs> Not even proper gold, man. Nonetheless, let's <clears throat> get this into a glass and show you what it looks like. Okay. <coughs> Fuck me. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right out. Look at that. Look at that indeed. It is indeed dark in colour. Let's see if it smells hoppy. Yeah. It does. It smells very hoppy. Mm. Happy, 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 happy. Yep. Yeah. Samuel Smith's Old Brewery Taddy Porter. Now, before we go any further, let me just tell you a few things about it. The ingredients are water, malted barley, yeast, hops, cane sugar, carbon dioxide, 5% volume. Um, and also, it's brewed in Tadcaster, hence the name Taddy. So it's a porter from Taddy, hence the reason why it's called Taddy Porter. Uh, it was brewed with well water at the old brewery, sunk in 1758, that is still in use, uh, within the hard well being drawn from 85 feet underground. It's obviously got a malted barley, roasted malt, yeast and hops, and it's fermented, say fermented in stone Yorkshire squares, best served at about 55 Fahrenheit or 13 Celsius. Um, Works with me. Right, so, you know all the details, you know all the shit. Now let's get this bastard down and see what it tastes like. Bottoms up, and up your bottom. taste that from a mile away, swear to god, I mean even the bear, I only had one mouthful, even the bear resonated, left a severe taste in my mouth, left it in the throat, it's, I mean, the malt 
saltiness is intense. It really is. And that's in a good way. Yeah. Do you tingle on the back of your throat? It's it's once again a massage your tongue like it's supposed to. And it's tingling in your throat. It's sort of tingling in your throat. Like it's playing a piano on your tonsils. It's a bit way I don't describe it really. It's good. It's really good. Um I would recommend it. Um yeah, so intense malt aftertaste at the end as well as soon as it goes down you just you know it's there you know you've had this i mean you can just feel it it's it it's the spot it really does leaves you hanging in no ways whatsoever so yeah i'd say about out of the four um i would actually go as far as say this is the best one it's not for someone like who just wants a sesh beer I mean, I'd go for the um, the raspberry or even the, um, well, obviously I'd go for the lager as a default, but the raspberry as a sort of, you know, mix things up a bit, avoid the strawberry one. But this one is sort of like if you want to, you know, if you want to crack it open and you want to, like, sit by a fire, I don't know, Christmas time with your chestnuts roasting over it, you know, just sit back, relax, and just think of good stuff, you know. A little bit of Bing Crosby playing in the background, a little bit of White Christmas, you know. Um, yeah, maybe even East 17 stay another day. That's more of my, that's my jam, like the last Christmas songs are concerned. So yeah, I, c I can totally see myself buying another one of these, sitting by a nice roaring fire in my mansion, which I totally own. And um, just listening to a bit of Brian Harvey belting off the tunes, a mm -hmm. bit of Tony Mortimer, and then um, the other two, John and Terry. Shout out to John and Teddy, by the way. <coughs> I heard Teddy's a roofer and John. It's like John's a roofer and Teddy's a low level DJ in Spain. Like Benazon or somewhere. Yeah, you've got to pay the bills one way or another, haven't you? Yeah. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend this Samuel Smith's Taddy Porter. If you want to buy it, I bought this from beersniffers.com. And I can't remember what price it was. <laughs> I'll do a little screenshot at the end of the video and show you everything. That way you can look for it yourself. I'll even link a little. Oh, look out. This really is us at the spot. I'll, I'll link another advert to it in the bottom of the video as well. Say in the description box on the bottom of the video. Look out, this is it's at the spot. Yeah, and um, if you want to try it, by all means, I would say go for it. It's worth it. Nonetheless, in the meantime, I'm signing out. Take care.